fact, these guys played an awful lot last year, and they're great players. But as a unit, Mike, they have not played that much together, and it's a feel, it's an ebb and a flow. The guy next to you, you have to get to know him, and you can't do that against your own team. You need to look at an offense that's really trying to beat you. Second. They come out in formation, they dictate to your defense, and they put you at a disadvantage. Barry Switzer has never lost to an ACC team, neither has go this is the strength of North Carolina's offense problem with that is it's a different type of an offense and they've had trouble adjusting to the new offense Gaddis five yards deep in the end zone and Oklahoma will start from its own 20. Jamel Holloway is the Sooners starting quarterback he had the best game of his career last season against North Carolina the fullback is Leon Perry, a junior. The game breakers at halfback. Anthony Stafford, who averaged nearly seven yards a carry last year. And Damon Stell. The split end is junior Eric Frost. The tight end converted from tackle this week. Mark Brown. Second down. Call it 13. Now the eye formation this time in Holloway. Under a lot of pressure. Down with the nine. And it was Roy Barker, the six. 64-pound freshman, and Kevin, you said. Holloway on the keep. There's the pitch to Stell, and Stell goes out of bounds as he reaches the 40. Stafford, big hole right side. The 30 first down and more down to 27, running over people. Kind of changing players a lot. Samakas is in there at a nose tackle. The pitch to Stafford. Got blockers in front of him. Great. four-yard line. First and goal sooner. There's Jim stand like they had the first time. Mike Gaddis, number 32, is in the ball game. Perry dies. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Deems May on the option and then throws downfield. Complete. made the tackle Jamel on the sideline he is not hurt it's just that Charles Thompson has earned a lot more playing time Switzer himself said Jamel Holloway was the best wishbone quarterback he ever saw and Charles Thompson is pushing him for his job how's that incredible. and there's three other guys that are waiting to play <laughs> yeah. that are probably going to be as good high mortality rate among option quarterbacks you need to get Thompson some playing time that's why he's in there the new center is Mike Wise number 65 Second and seven. Holloway naked reverse out there one on one. Look at that. Got a block to the 40, forced out of bounds at the 42 yard line. Thompson to Gaddis. Speed and power. Look out. 20, 15. Belted out of bounds by Causey as he got to the 11 yard line, a gain of 33. is the trail man. Thompson keeps. Touchdown sooner. Charles Thompson made it look easy. And Charles Thompson's eight-yard touchdown run has given Oklahoma a 14-0 lead. About time. They had good field position. First down, they're in control of the game. That's when they like to throw at Oklahoma. Very tough to stop, although the coverage is pretty good. Frost makes a tremendous catch. Watch him lean into the defensive player who reaches over. There's the interference and makes a great catch. And it was Frost on the field. Just inside the one, fourth and goal. Stafford, touchdown sooner. by Hamilton, and that will cost North Carolina half the distance to the goal. That's a tough call there. That's got to be an offsetting penalty. Now it's so often they only saw the second. Screen the mark. No block. For high school coaches in North Carolina, it's one of the things Mac Brown is trying to do to rebuild recruiting ties in the state. These coaches are telling me the previous Carolina coach, Dick Crum, did not think much of the quality of football in North Carolina, and he didn't do very good recruiting in the state. For years, the best players in the state have gone to Clemson or schools from the Southeastern Conference. He's trying to repair that, and it looks like the public relations job is working. It doesn't help today. Catch 
that thing gets to Oklahoma, you need every yard you can get. Six losses and four ties. This is his 16th year. He passed Bud Wilkins. And for many people, Bud Wilkins is the best coach that ever coached college football. Well, certainly, I know Bud. I worked with him. And, uh Rankin, but he dove and couldn't make the catch. And it looked like Hall had a lot of mustard on that one. Well, that was 51 yards. Got a chance. And it's wide. Wide to the left. And with four together, getting used to a new coach, not really a bad effort. Four seconds left. Holloway in there at quarterback. Stafford. Races over the 40 to the 45-yard line. That will end the first half here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. The Tar Heels unable to do much on offense and trail Oklahoma 21 nothing. Let's go back to our right. Holloway with a little stutter step to Stafford. Stafford right down the sideline. They knocked him out of bounds. But he had 170 yards by the way last year. That was his career best. He's only gained 18 so far today. He has lost one game as a starter in his career. One. Regular season game. Second along, all the way back to throw under some pressure. Throws from Blake to Paul. Great move by Bloss to get free and pick up another 10 yards to the north. So Gray 97 had him around the knees. Tim Brando.